happy for these seniors. Uh, that will be the last memory they have of Sholkoff Field is, uh, is winning that football game, a tight football game. Um, yeah, I mean, they just, these guys are, uh, they're unreal. I mean, they just, they don't have a, uh, they don't know the definition of the word quit. <laughs> they don't have, they're resilient as hell. Um, you know, it's easy to be a leader in uh, great times. It's easy to be, you know, all in on football in great times. And these guys have been all in, you know, through some bad times. And today, man, is senior day. And it's their day. And they better, this is a head coaching order, they better enjoy the hell out of it and celebrate their asses off because they are in the Questions, next. Coach, 90 combined rushing attempts for both teams. Uh, at what point was that the game plan heading in? You wanted to emphasize the run game? Um, or at one point did you just realize that your best shot was just kind of grinded out? Well, heading had into the game, it was uh, emphasized Luke Hagee on team day. You know, I think he's one of the most talented, if not the most talented backs in the league. And so, what did he touch it 20 times in the first half or something? I'm interested in the ground alone. Um, you know, and then I think uh, it was. So when you get into a tight game like that and the defense is playing well, uh, you start playing field position. And uh, we got the first or second best punter in America and uh, just kind of let our defense keep playing and make plays on the ground. I think Jack Lally had a big <coughs> run to move the sticks late in the game. And Jadis came in and had uh, some big carries for us. So it uh, kind of became, it was the thought going in, but then as the game kind of developed, uh, it became more like, you guys won on the field goal today. That was a little first drive, and it has kind of had its ups and downs this year. It was that first, that one was up. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, how I mean, how uh, I mean, how have you kind of handled that situation? And um, for you, was there like any lack of uh, loss in trust? I guess in, in that unit at some point this year, or just kind of I mean, assessing we, yeah. your trust in that unit. When two guys have been competing, you know, Mays and Purick, and we make them compete in practice, and then I decide who I feel best with during the games. Uh, but you have to work through it. You have to be able to kick the football and get points. And, uh, you know, we kicked, we kicked one day for three points, and then, then let the defense do the rest. And we'll be red, so we want to back up the band. So, uh, you know, you can't lose uh, confidence because it's part of the game you need. But we just got to work through uh, and keep getting better at that. Coach, obviously, you went over this point at a very big premium this game, but uh, maybe I could hear from some of the players as well, um, the defensive players. How important is it for the defense as a unit to come up with stop after stop after stop, even when it's clear that it, the offense is not on their best day? Well, absolutely. That's that's one thing we preach. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what offense is doing. We take care of what we need to take care of. And uh, coming into this game, uh, the way Dartmouth played us, we knew they were going to try to pound the ball. Um, inside, and they did do that uh, consistently on that last drive right before we stopped them. Um, me personally, like I know I was going to get a lot of three-man services with tight ends, so I was going to have to adjust my pass rush differently. But um, you know, it's unbelievable how resilient this defense has been, especially today. Um, you know, I think we really put four quarters together, and it's obvious with the shutouts. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play the <laughs> I mean, how how important is it for for you guys to, to have a punter like Chris Frazier and, and being able to have the confidence that he's gonna give your defense strong field position to start up? You know, he certainly changes your, your decision making, you know, because you know what he's capable of. And so you you know, you calculate in your head, okay, what can he do if the drive stalls here? You know, uh, what, what, can we, what kind of field position can we get? And even kicking into the wind, I think mean, there was a time he was able to flip the field. So uh, he's a uh, he's great weather. Uh, for Russian JJ, uh, it's your last home game for your show pump. What were the emotions going through your head coming out of the victory? I, me personally, I couldn't be happier for, uh, for the seniors and, and for this group of guys. It's, um, you know, it's, it's been a challenging year, and I don't think our record reflects uh, how resilient 
um, that this group was prepared. So, like I said, I couldn't be more happier for, for these seniors. It's a great way to send us out and and uh, keeping the cup in it. You know, so. What he said, man, happy to get the dub. I'm a <laughs> uh, Coach Archer, uh, you had a win last year against Columbia in similar situation. It's a very different game, but a similar situation. Uh, what kind of progress have you seen in your program and your team? In Columbia's program? And in or your, sorry, in your uh, team. You know, I think this uh, year compared to last year. Last year was a three-point game, but it was high scoring, right? It was like 30-27. Yeah, 30-27, like I think it was the final. You know, I think that what I've seen, uh, you know, we're able to uh, last year uh, to play <coughs> defensively with the blitz 85-90% uh, of the time. This year, through the kind of hard work of these guys in the weight room, you know, our, our totally renovated weight room, thanks to some really generous alumni, uh, we've really shifted how we call the game. We don't have to blitz nearly as much uh, to be able to uh, to keep people off the field, and that's a huge difference. That's like, you know, weighing the same body weight, but making the composition of body fat and mass difference. So uh, I've seen a lot of progress there uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, I think that, uh, you know, we've been able to uh, keep the balance that we wanted. I think today we would have put a little bit more uh, pressure on the, the run game, uh, but I think we're still evolving. We check and do so much mentally, uh, way more offensively than, than we used to uh, last year, and that's going to only continue to improve and get better as we continue to keep continuity and, and keep developing players. So while the result is the same, a three-point victory, uh, the makeup is, is much different. Jake, how do you kind of handle the quarterback situation? You were you were on the kind of swing time, and um, you were more at, at, at the quarterback position and kind of coming in and running up the field. Um, how do you kind of handle that? I just got to always be ready. You know, I never know um, what my number's going to be called like in that last drive, you know. So I mean, every, you know, before every job, I'm trying to get myself mentally and physically ready to go out there and you know, give my team a, a boost when they need it. I mean, if they need me to get first downs or run into, you know, big offense or big defense alignment and stuff, I'm going to do that for my team. I'm just going to keep going out there and do my best for them. Jake, can you talk about your decision to slide? Oh, uh, I mean, I just knew that, you know, I wasn't going to score a touchdown or anything like that. I mean, I'm not trying to pat the stance or anything. Just <laughs> start at five, so I just need to get the first down and get down. So I just Kind of more of a you know, mental thing at that point. So, what's so, smart decision? Thank you. Yeah. What, was, what, what was going through uh, for you guys? What was kind of going through your head when uh, you realized that you know the victory formation was coming on the field and you know you guys were going to win the game? Relief. Yeah, oh, that's going to rock room, man. That's oh. it. That's <laughs> it. Uh, it was everything that this group's been through. It's just they couldn't be a, a better ending today. Um, I think it's really appropriate. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm happy. Coach, you guys are obviously riding high on um, on this win, but obviously the season's not yet over. So how do you plan on, how do you and also from the players as well, from the captains, how do you plan on riding this wave into next weekend against uh, Penn? <clears throat> so you should see these guys come back to fight after a loss, take a win, throw all that juice on top of it. I don't have to worry about digging up uh, any emotion or or fight from these guys. From these guys, they always bring it, and the the, the, the juice that they have today is just going to, I mean, it's going to fly through through practice and, and a great venue to play uh, next week down in Philadelphia against a team I think what you said you may be Harvard, so a good team. So man, let's go. We got another bowl game. But we got the Empire Bowl sitting here in Ithaca, and they got the Trustees Cup sitting down in Philadelphia. So we're going to board the bus and go get it. Anything specific in terms of uh, drills or uh, anything you want to take from? this game that you want to specifically work on heading into the so match. I want to make sure they do the celebration drill tonight uh, and enjoy themselves uh, for, for such a, uh, you know, they, they should. I'm not, I'm not trying to, to make a joke. These guys, it's been hard. Uh, they, they are in the game. They, 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 uh, but <clears throat> the physicalness is done. It's week 10. Uh, so, uh, you know, tackling and blocking and those type of things, we got to make sure that we stay fresh. We'll get to the pen film tomorrow, see what they do, try to take away their best stuff work the drills appropriately for, for that.